All right, everybody. So Jesse fucked his car up. And yeah. And now he's forced to work seven days a week. I <laughs> fucked my car up. And now I have to cook 40 pounds of bacon every morning and mop floors. And so son, some of you don't think this podcast is worth $5 a month and won't subscribe to hold us. On, at, hold on. Ben, are you, any, are you in any financial straits right now? I mean, you've hated your job since the jump. So Yeah, no, that hasn't changed. Ben, yeah. ben needs to quit his job. <laughs> yeah, I need to get the fuck up out of it. Yeah. So if you want good stuff, you're going to read the Patreon. Today we're going to be playing a little game called Read Stuff Out of the Paper. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cucks. Patreon.com slash lonely mans. Yeah, if you want an actual exciting episode, you go to patreon.com slash lonely I'm not being paid for this bullshit. I'm not trying. No, this is what you get for free now. We tried to play your game, dude. Yeah, no more guests. It's just the three boys reading the paper. Guests only on the Patreon now. That's Fuck it. Fuck you. And you know who our guest is next week? Hans Kim again. Fucking Andrew Yang. <laughs> Asian guests only on the Patreon. <laughs> Hang yeah. dang, uh, Andrew Mike, Yang. Mia Khalifa, you know, we branch out the different Asiatic types. <laughs> Tiger Woods. <laughs> Yo, I, did you have you seen the Tiger Woods text messages? I don't know if you guys ever read these. When he, when he was uh, trying to get caught and he was trying to like, well, like, like cover the, up his tracks. Trying not to get no, caught? No, just oh. the things he would text back and forth to some of these women is so funny. Like one the time. Sexting? Yeah, one time the girl said something or whatever, and Tiger responded, I'm Blasian, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> like, just such a goofy thing for the best golfer ever in history to yeah. say. Like, he's just a goofy guy if you read his well, text. Because if you imagine, Bo, if you're Tiger Woods, like, you've, you've been, been a bad girl. <laughs> you've been playing golf, like, at the highest level since you were, like, four. Yeah, like, your <laughs> whole life has just been spent swinging the club. You're yeah. the biggest so, like, dork. Yeah, so, like, while the rest of the dudes were, like, hanging out and trying to, like, get game and all this, Tiger was just fucking playing golf and now mm. he's at the point and then he got to the point where he's like bro i want to reap some of the benefits of all this work right but he's never had to have game he's never had to like holler at girls he's never had to do any of you that you think money and fame means you don't need game you still need a little bit of game like now little, it depends it's all relative man, honestly tiger's I think at the Michael point where Jordan he should doesn't have the best game bro, he should have had a guy for that like honestly mm. to be honest like when i used to live in denver yeah. uh, he should be gay kenneth Fareed used to play in the nba uh, for the nuggets mm -hmm. and kenneth Fareed would walk into the club in like sweatpants and a hoodie and just stand in the corner and then like he'd just have like one of his boys just go round up like a just a, yeah. just like run up to girls and be like yo y'all trying to come hang out with kenneth Fareed? yeah you need a, and then he just and then they just get like a gang of like six seven ten hoes and they just mob up. the fuck out you need a Ghislaine maxwell on the squad yeah you, to touch children you know you definitely <laughs> no need, she did touch maybe she did touch that's her, but she wrangled them up that's my strategy of picking up women i wear a, a sweatshirt a hoodie and sweatpants into the club i yeah. stand in the corner and then for some reason some very uh naive woman takes pity on me and comes over and starts <laughs> talking to me like what's wrong and then she's in the web dude she's <laughs> trapped in the web now. dude you're like dude you've fallen into paul's i don't, I don't know it's just it's been a long day i had to cook Emotion you ever cook 40 pounds of bacon um, emotional manipulation <laughs> you you smell like bacon in the club i smell like dude, i was thinking today i should get a fat girlfriend so when i come home and smell like french toast she'll be <laughs> turned on by it instead of disgusted like i Alyssa think a is. woman of any weight would be into that french nah, dude, toast smells great. Like, you you smell like french fries <laughs> <laughs> whack Arnold. <laughs> you smell like French toast. <laughs> I work, I work at Whack Arturo's Underground Cafe. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I, I feel like that's the definition of what do they call that these days, Paul? Gaslighting. That's what you were doing. You're gaslighting. Mm. Here's the thing, dude. It's like I'm an artist, so you know my mind doesn't work the way I want it to. Right. So you know some women are attracted to that type of chaos, I guess. So your mind not working the way you want it to? Uh, yeah, you know, I like, I don't, I just you, choose You put not, that kind of energy out there and that's what you're going to get back. Yeah. You're going to get chaos back. Uh, what, a, it's a, what a tangled web we weave. <laughs> you know, my web is very tangled. So my web. Poly spider ciphers. Just yeah. looking for a girl that's into autism. I get you. It's cool. Yeah, yeah dog. Exactly. Keep autism weird. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a t-shirt, dude. Time, we'll, we'll edit this out. We're time gonna, stamp that. We're, we're doing keep autism weird t-shirts. <laughs> I'll do them alone if you don't want to put the Lonely Man's logo on there. Uh, no Lonely Man's logo, but uh, we might have to donate some, some portion to charity have a, or something. Have the Joker holding a puzzle piece. <laughs> Smiling. Jack Nicholson. Joker. The Is the Joker, Joker autistic? 
I thought he was just abused I think as absolutely. A child. They should make an autistic Joker. It would be hilarious. Like a uh, he, he wasn't I already. I didn't I watch the Joaquin autistic. Phoenix one. Is he is he on the spectrum? I mean, I think any Joking Phoenix. I think yeah. you could loosely define most superheroes and supervillains as being autistic. I mean, yeah. they they run around in their underwear. They're high functioning for sure. Yeah, obviously. But like the way they view the world. I mean, look at Batman. He's like, there's good and there's evil. <laughs> like, it's not really true, man. There's a lot of gray area in there. Very black and white thinking. Yeah, I mean, the Joker's, he's, obsess- he's, he's obsessive. I mean, the Joker's got like, this is kind of like getting too nerdy, but he obviously has like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. He's got a whole other <laughs> gang issues going on. The autism is just the foundation for All everything. All right, so it's a mental health issue. <laughs> He, yeah, he, yeah he, he definitely spent time in a mental health asylum. Arkham Asylum. Yeah, that's like a, he, he's a crazy person. That's literally his whole background story. He's just a fucking nut. How genius has Gotham that they're like, here's what, we finally got all the supervillains. It's like, oh, that's great, boss. Are we going to put them in prisons all around the country and <laughs> keep them separate from each other? Like, no, 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 no. We're going to put them in the same brick building that my daddy put prisoners in. And he's like, we're going to put... Mr. Freeze? Has anyone done a sketch where they're like playing Connect Four together in like the rec room? Oh my god, dude, that's hilarious. Like all <laughs> orange jumpsuits and just Mr. Freeze gets pissed off. He's no, like, I don't like, want to watch the show. They're in like those like nighty gowns. Yeah. It's like the Hustle Riddler games. playing the Joker in Connect Four. Who wins? The Riddler or Joker? Bane comes in and he's just like, I want to watch Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're not watching Golden Girls, Bane. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I feel like Bane would have an upper hand in that situation. He's got more like physical if took his prowess. Tube, if they took his tubes from him, he wouldn't have the upper hand. His suits. For a second, I thought you meant like in Connect Four. I'm like, you don't need a lot of strength for Connect Four. <laughs> you need a lot of mental capacity. I haven't played Connect Four since. Uh, if we weren't busy tomorrow, you could. Uh, Alden Shaw is having a Connect Four tournament at uh, Barton Spring Saloon. Hey, if we hit. The fuck? Yeah. It's like an open mic or just a Connect Four? I think it's just a Connect Four tournament. Man. Speaking of autism. All the audio, right? I was just going to run rampant in that event. Hey, if we get 20 <laughs> subscribers on Patreon.com, and this is a promise. We're at 13 right now. We need seven. If we seven get 20 subscribers, we will yeah. send Jesse to hypnosisaustin.com ready to quit smoking Ooh! We'll, we will hypnotize jesse into not smoking we'll, when we will report it on the podcast dude i would love that yeah 20 subscribers we'll use i don't know how much it is but we'll use the patreon money for like a month and send jesse to get hypnotized do you sign off on that ben sure uh, how much yeah. is it i don't know i'll throw in some money Oh, that's the back page? I thought they banned that. I thought, I thought oh, the FBI the shut that harmonica down. Harmonica. No, Semen <laughs> donors need it. Dude, all our prayers, are, our prayers are answered. Ben, ben, 100 uh, per specimen, bro. Uh, ben, ben has a college degree, but I think you're under six feet. There's a lot of weird qualifications. Healthy yes. college educated close. males, yeah, 18 to 39, bro. You're Eight, I'm still in the cut. If you just like lift up your heels a little bit. Yeah, while you're getting measured. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty. Who wouldn't close. want Ben semen, dude? I, it's, it's I, very, I it's kind of feel st- like I should put a vial of it together. I, a very solid stock. I, this is very <laughs> quality semen here. Just <laughs> if I get old, DNA. be like, look, I'm flat footed. I have scoliosis, but I have yeah. a vial of my roommate from my 20s semen. <laughs> so maybe we just, well, you can just impregnate my wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I just always wonder though, who's going around looking for black semen? There can't, there can't be that many people looking for black babies. Dude, some woke yuppie chick. Who's yeah, or I just want my children, but she can find Malibu's, that on the street pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. Like she can just find that. What about a Malibu's most wanted guy that's just like really wants a black son? <laughs> so he gets some I cred. Just my, I just want myself a good little nigger baby, but I don't want my wife to fucking nigger. This is an awkward situation that's that we true. have. That's the, there is at least one person that has that exact viewpoint on life. I'm sure there is. <laughs> Out bro, of 700 I, million? No, yeah, yeah, there's 7 billion people on this planet. I just want to meet that person. Like, Still just, paying too much for medication. I would medication. love to have me a nigger baby play some football. Just don't, <laughs> how do I get a nigger baby without the nigger? That's, I want a Big Ten baby without my wife taking the Big Ten. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. Big Ten. That's, right, that's right a that bold down. strategy. Big Ten baby. I Look at me making say. sports references yeah. out here. Damn. Big Ten baby. You want him to just be average. College I get sports it. reference too. That's yeah. a pretty deep What's, the, what's the, the other one? Isn't there a 12? The, the, there's a Big 12, but... The SEC is the, the good one. Mm. Yeah, you want to have an SEC baby. Without the BBC. Yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> SEC without the BBC. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, yeah. What else is going on? Uh, oh, Ben, um, this isn't actually a podcast. 
that we're doing. Um, just first of all, I want you to know that Paul and I love you. We care about you. But you are addicted to ice cream, and it is becoming yeah. a problem out here. Oh, for, what is it? You guys are going to intervention me on some this ice is, cream? This is an intervention. We're the <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm going to intervene these nuts. Ben fucking flipped out on me about ice cream last night. Not ben, about the ice cream. About the fact that I had to come all the way here and then go all the way back because you had to pee versus just going to where we were already 30 seconds from. I had to pee so bad. Listen, dude. we're like 12 seconds from the store, and Jesse's whining about peeing, so I have I to come not. all the way I here not. and then go all the way back to where we were because Jesse's like, I got to fucking. Wait, wait, there's wait, a fucking wait, wait, tree. Wait. Step out of the car and use your fucking right. penis, let me, bro. Let me ask one question. Yeah. Ben, would you consider undergoing hypnosis for your ice cream? <laughs> Absolutely not. What, if Ben gets hypnotized for ice cream, you get hypnotized for something. What do I get hypnotized no, for? No, I, uh, I will eat ice cream till I die. I'd rather die than get hypnotized out of eating <laughs> ice cream. Get the fuck out of here. Just all the foods and all the <laughs> and drinks and smokes. Um, <laughs> you're mean bro oh my god dude all right we dropped off holly and i was like oh man i gotta pee so bad and then we got up to the to the light and it was like take a right to go to cvs or take a left to go to our apartment and ben was like i gotta get some ice cream real quick and i was like dude i gotta pee so bad and he was like oh takes yeah, the left I'm, I'm siding with ben right now <laughs> yeah. Where was I gonna pee? Already, bro, dude. there's a Just fucking tree somewhere, bro. <laughs> hold you, it in. Like, I don't know. Go fucking pee at the CVS. What bathroom, are you, a child? Bro. What are you, like, a you know, I can only pee in the comfort of my own rest. Like, what then, the fuck out of here? Are but you then, a Bichon <laughs> Freeze? You can't hold your fucking pee for Dude, it was hurting. I was oh in pain. Oh my gosh. And like, then, Ben, we get on our street. And ben starts driving slower than usual. Like, and then we get through, like, we get up to the gate, and he's like, dude, driving like extra slow. I was like, why is he torturing me like this? We get through the gate, and he was like, Dude, can I just turn around and get, dude, so can I just drop you off right here? And I'm like, now we're in the complex. You could have just like whipped me up to the door real quick. Oh my god! Yeah, and then you <laughs> whined until I did. I did not whine. I said, dude, like, I, I gotta dude, pee. I gotta pee, bro. There's so many fucking trees and I grass. You could pee everywhere. in a bottle I, in Ben's car. I did whine. I said, dude, just drive me to the door, please. Bro, yeah, that's whining, dude. Just drive me to the door. <laughs> I gotta pee. I got, I got a deep pee voice. So bad. I put some bass gotta, in it. Bro, there, you can't say. You can't say. I gotta pee in a manly voice. That's not how Were that statement sounds. Dude, I gotta pee. I didn't say I didn't say pee. I didn't say pee. Did you drink alcohol? That's fair. Yeah, you can't sound manly while talking about how bad you gotta pee. We were out drinking. Of course, you were drinking alcohol. No, yeah, no one has ever sounded manly talking about how bad they gotta pee and they can't hold it. You've never sounded manly. And Jesse can't hold his liquor. Then you hit the gas. That like which you should have done in the first place. Just whip me up, bro. You were like you're in a car and you want me to walk like. (laughs) Yeah. Well, next time I'll fucking just be like, fuck it. I'm going to get ice cream. You're gonna figure this shit out, bro. I'm pissing in the forum, bro. You're gonna figure that shit out. I'm peeing out the window, bro. bro. I hope you pee out the window. If you pee in the car, <laughs> if you be... had a bottle or something, I would have done that. Bro, too. If you would have peed in the car, that's a whole nother <laughs> issue. Right, so then he drives me up to the door. I get out. I close the door. <laughs> ben literally peels out. He fucking hits the gas. It's like, Burr! yeah, that was just more. That was just more because I was so. I was just so heated at you. I was whining about. The I wasn't pee. even I was mad. So mad. I was. What if I was you just... got pulled over and you're like, officer? My friend was complaining about how he had to pee. He had to pee. Boy, are you a faggot? <laughs> Who says pee? But I was like, he like leans over. I was ben. like, this is like real, like addictive behavior. Like Ben was feeding for this tonight. It wasn't though. even about. The, it wasn't even about the ice cream. It was about the no, fact that you I were was right you're like, there. You're like, dog. I just need some fucking ice cream right now. Hey, look. No, I was right there, and then I had to drive all the way back because you had to pee. That's the part about it that pissed you me off. Because you, so you had bad. to fucking pee. Because you, you couldn't hold it in like a twelve year old child. You were fucking scratching, dog. Yeah. You, yeah, you were scratching when you were trying to pee. I gotta pee. I had my fucking legs crossed. Yeah, you were sitting over there like I can't pee in this grass. I'm They're so gonna sad see I'm, my penis. I'm so Gosh. sad that for once. No, I, I don't. I will pee out. I will pee anywhere. But well, then why did you fucking pee right anywhere? Because we're you clearly in, weren't. We're in the complex. Just drive me to the door. Oh, dude. next time you're gonna walk to the fucking door and figure it out on the way there. I'll just be like, fuck it. You're gonna you're figure like, this you're shit like, out. Go pee in the pool, bro. I don't go. I really did it, bro. That was the most. I, I can't believe you made me yeah, literally you drive blinded, there all the way back. by your addiction, dude. I can't you believe can... you made me. Bro, speaking of fucking addiction, mister, I need a fucking thing of everywhere I go in your hand. Fuck yeah. out of here, bro. Yeah, but Just because I had to make the drive twice. If, that's if you were like, I hey, eating. I got to pee, and I'm like, no, I need to go to the store for the vape right now. I would bring you home first. No, because I, I would never fucking do that because I had to pee. I'd hold it in like a fucking adult. 
or I'd go pee outside. I like was a fucking holding man. it, but once we're fucking at by the house of like, dude, we're oh right my here. gosh, yeah, I would have fucking made it work because I'm not a baby back bitch. I can control and, my bladder. And I had a fucking job interview. Like, yeah. I had, like, oh, the, yeah. fucking, the job interview. That 30 second difference from the CVS was gonna make the difference of your job interview. <laughs> it's yeah. at a fucking 11, bro. Get the I can't fuck go, out I of can't here. I can't go and smell Get like this. Can, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Your job interview at 11 a.m. the next day, like you have to wake up. I smell like pee. They're gonna think I'm homeless. They're not gonna hire me. Well, you should have. Next time, I'm just gonna drive in circles while you pee your pants. Can I say just one make thing? you walk the fuck home next time. Can I time. say one thing? Gosh, I can't believe that <laughs> Let me say one thing you guys can get back to this lively debate. Uh, I think we've settled. Are you, would you guys be interested in being a part of Ham Day 2021? Uh, what's Ham Day? I don't know. It sounds like my kind of vibe. Keeping music in Austin alive and well since 2005. Oh, I thought it was maybe like a cold cut festival. Do you own or work for a local business? You do. I do. If so, we want you to be part of him. Now more than ever, the Health Alliance for Austin Musicians. Oh, Austin Musicians. I think they lost you at Healthy, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> there well, we go. All right, let's, let's turn it back on Paul like usual. Well, look, I, I, you know, I walked uh, to work today, and then I drank two Red Bulls, so I yeah. think I'm pretty... Be healthy. You probably had to pee too. That's What'd about eight hundred percent of he my peed in the daily. Tree like any real man would. <laughs> I don't pee or eat at work at all. No, I just refuse to do it. Are you dehydrated all day? No, I drink a ton of water. Yeah, but standing in front of a grill, it just like. You just sweat it all out. <laughs> I don't I know like what Paul happens. Paul pees on the grill, bro. He's definitely <laughs> thought about it now before. I, now Paul, about, Paul is a Catholic. Now that I've been thinking time. about it, maybe it is just trickling down my pants all the time. <laughs> maybe I just bro. let loose. The catheter, first of all. Who decided that it has to go in the hole? <laughs> yeah. Who decided that you just couldn't put a little tube around the penis and say that? Who decided the catheter? Who do we talk like about that? this with? I think we talked to Simon Nash about it on the Patreon. I still, I'm still, i still very strong. And I was like, that. that's the pipeline, dude. Like, where else are you going to go? You just put a tube around the whole fucking tip of the dick. I guess. Like, what, why, why? Why Why do you have to put it in there? I think they should I train. I think there's probably a, a good reason I think for it. I don't think there is, honestly. Train I think it's a bullshit-ass reason, like your peeing reason. I think it's, it's bullshit. It's just a power, like, domination move. They should train gay men to stick people's penises in their ass and drink the urine through their ass. Uh, I'm pretty or, like, sure there's hold, already a porn website hold about Hold on that. to it. Yeah. it. I'm pretty sure it's already there. And then poop it out somewhere else. I've definitely seen a clip of a guy peeing in a woman's butt. Yeah. yeah, Rocco Cifredi. Is he, does he do that? He does. I mean, he put milk in a girl's butt and ate cereal out of it. So <laughs> that's man. always <laughs> man. That's some next level shit. I need to look that up. Honestly. Please that do not look it up. This is why I don't need disgusting. cereal anymore. <laughs> Yo, look at this. <laughs> Adi, like Adi I fruit. hope he hasn't eaten ice cream out of a girl's butt. Oh my god, I don't, that's, that's still what it ruined. Oh, shit, we that, would ruin, that would ruin the porn for me. You're, defa- <laughs> you're defacing you're like, I'm ice, ice cream. cream getting rid of porn. <laughs> yeah, you're defacing ice cream. How dare you? I can't watch this. Someone's porn. Someone's definitely it's made a uh, like a banana split. In a girl's Church butt. of fudge. Oh my gosh! You know Church of Fudge. You know that I can't. No. I think yeah, it's a bunch of nuns pooping on each other. That's so gross. That'll ruin ice cream for me. I'd rather not watch porn than ruin ice cream for me. <laughs> and if I had to choose between porn and ice cream, that's not even a competition. Tonight, though, no, all day I will forsake porn for ice cream. How many pints did you buy last night? Are you stocked up now? No, I just bought one pint. Just one. All right. Bro, I'm down to like three pints a week. Why are you sitting here talking shit? No, because you had like three in the fridge the other day. I don't think you're eating three a day. I think you just like buy it in bulk and then I spread it out. I bought two like a week and a half ago. Yeah. And then I ate them <laughs> at some point during the last week and a half. Yeah. All right. That's Look, funny. I don't want to add to the fuel of the fire, yeah, but yeah. I believe last night, uh, oh, it's two nights ago. I don't know. I came home at night one time and then Ben was walking to the kitchen. And yeah. I forget verbatim what he said, but it was something like, it's late at night, but. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna eat some ice cream. Nah, it was <laughs> 3 a.m. last night when he when he went on. Yeah. This is like two nights ago. Maybe he was just shuffled in, and he He's even making late night ice cream calls. Was admitted, there's no reason I need to eat this ice cream right now. But just because you don't need something doesn't mean you shouldn't have it. Which yeah. is <laughs> and if I would have came home at 10 p.m., I would have said the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah. The oh, after my, the hotel mic. Yeah. I've, I've eaten ice cream with you at 10 p.m. after a, an open mic. I was like, you know what? I need to like stuff these feelings down a little bit. It is just, it's what I do when I come home. I just want to eat some ice cream. It's mm. what I do. Mm. 
Is that, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, I went to CVS this morning and I walked by the ice cream counter. I was like, could I eat ice cream at 10 a.m.? I was like, I definitely could, but I got to go to my job interview. I don't eat ice cream early in the morning. It's, 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 there's a limit to when I begin to eat yeah. ice cream. And oh, it's never good, in the morning. It's always at night. It's a good late night snack. It's the best late night snack. It's pretty amazing. It just puts me in my feelings when I go to sleep. I'm like, Ooh. I wake up feeling terrible. Like I go to sleep feeling good, but then I wake up feeling terrible, like digesting all that sugar. Oh, absolutely. Overnight. I definitely shit my pants <laughs> in the thing. morning like, yeah. very extensively. <laughs> Five minutes before I was dead asleep, I ate a uh, Texas toast with peanut butter and jelly, like a massive amount of peanut butter and jelly on it. Yeah, I so only had two pieces of bread left, mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, I'm going to make it count. And I just <laughs> fucking, it was like a sub. I, I did see you also putting butter, regular butter on the bread. It's not regular put- butter. It's nature's balance. It's vegan mm-hmm. butter. Uh, okay, so let me finish that statement. Okay, you're putting your vegan oh, butter. Oh, you're saying on as opposed to peanut butter, you're peanut butter putting, you're putting butter what butter. What's up? That. No, I just made toast one time. The other night, I'm pretty sure I was watching no, you when I you did to- that. I just put butter on it and then just toast. That was the time I just ate. PB and J wood butter would be pretty good though. Would be the worst, I don't think. But oh. that's not what I did. That's I a bold strategy. I, I don't think butter ever makes anything worse. I thought you were trying to call me on breaking veg, bro. I was gonna be like, <laughs> oh, no, I don't, don't give a say fuck that. about. I honestly didn't even contemplate that butter wouldn't be vegan. I didn't even realize that. The yeah, dude, thing. it's so funny. People at my work and they're like. Yeah, look, Bill Maher's playing. Bill Maher's coming Jr. here. Earth, Wind, and Fire. You want to go see Earth, Wind, and Fire on September 19th? Do you remember Wait. the 21st? Uh, yeah, it's so, it's if close. it was the 21st, that would be insane. I, you'd have to go. Yeah, I went to a wedding on the 21st night of September uh, a couple Did, of years ago. And they didn't play that song on your principal? It was the last song they played. The only song they played on repeat the yeah. whole time. <laughs> they started and ended with it. <laughs> We were all waiting for it all night. We're like, when's the song going to play? I wish there was like, like a personals in here, dude. That would be so much fun to read in the podcast. Isn't that what the back page is? Oh, there's not a personal section? I don't know. I just want something yeah, like dumb I people like, shit. Is it really back page without prostitutes? Hey, look, yeah. a comic about ice cream. A comic Best about- put him out of his misery, son. And he's like holding ice cream while it's melting. Yeah, well, see? All right. I don't know. Does this speak you to should, you, you, you should cut that out and put it on the fridge. Yes, I've been practicing. Why? I don't understand either of these comics, and they're pissing me off. Yeah, and reading them on the podcast. So it's kind of no a visual see them. medium. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm we have that. Still, I can hold them up. I'm just still surprised that there's still newspapers. That's crazy. How this, did, this is th- a free one? There's like certain news things that still made it to 2021, like a fax machine. How mm. did fax machines still make it to 2021? Who's over there like, man, this fax technology is really killing it. Like, I think for very specific types of businesses, faxes are still efficient, but I might be talking out my ass. I, but like what? Yeah, can, email now. Yeah, what can you send in a fax that is not better sent through email? Right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, there's, I can't, the stupidest fax, part. Fax, bro, fax. I think <laughs> contracts and stuff are better through fax for some reason, but that might, again, that might just be. But most of the fax people use electronic faxes anyway. Yeah, so you're sending true. a fax through like an email faxing program. It's just old is, boomers yeah. that don't want to. the fuck. Just boomers. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of yeah, my job I use faxes and I get Hey, mad. these are employment. These are jobs right here, guys. Oh, yeah. I had a job interview today. Uh, Data warehouse engineer. I could probably do that. Never mind. Data warehouse? Oh, yeah. You had a job interview today? Yeah, for valet parking. I might be out in these streets. Sparking one in valet parking. Yeah, dude. Would you ever take the cars for a joyride? Uh, Ferris Bueller. Dude, if it's a sick car. Yeah, like if somebody pulls up and you're just like, let me get in this whip whip <laughs> and see if you can just take, take it for a little spin. Like, like oh, there's a, there's a special spot behind the building and then I just like pull out the back edges uh, and skirt, just skirt. like, peel, like the, peeling the tires. You know shit. what? I just realized they didn't even ask me if I drove stick today. They Jesse, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. I think you're, it was your destiny and you're, I think you, you're made, you were put on this earth to valet park cars. You think so? I think that's your gift. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think qualifies me? I think you just you that your whole vibe is mm. just that of a of a man whose ceiling is valet parking cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I could do. But really well, dude. Like you'll make a living. You you have a family. Yeah. As a valet. Parker. She told uh, the chick who interviewed me told me like there's some lifer valet parkers like and she's been in like the valet and hospitality industry for 15 yeah, years. Yeah, for sure. And like. I mean, I'm not now. I'm not even joking anymore. I do think you actually. I might be dope at it. Yeah. I feel like you're fit for the job. It would be a good comedy job, I think. There's like, 
it, it seems like super flexible because she was like, what shift are you looking for? I was like, Monday through Friday, uh, seven to three. And she's like, yeah, we got that. Cause like they, they're like in hotels all over downtown. It'd be closer to the apartment. Like any hotel is probably like 10, 15 minutes away. Yeah, dude. Everywhere it's, is. I feel like anyone yeah. I'm trying to go is 10, 15 minutes away. And yeah. it doesn't matter how many miles away the map says, it's always 10, 15 yeah. minutes away. Like, I don't understand. One place will be like 2.5 miles, 15 minutes. Another place is 9 miles, 15 minutes. Yeah. I don't understand the Austin traffic math, but everywhere is just 15 minutes away. Except the job that I currently have that's 30 minutes away because it's in fucking Round Rock. Yeah, no, that's that's bullshit. She's like, why are you like looking for a new job? I was like, dude, I work 30 minutes away in a factory and it's fucking mind-numbing. Like, I was like, I want to like, it would be a social job. I would get to talk to people. I would get cash in my pocket every day. Cash money. Well, maybe I can do this. Live in attendant needed. Attendant needed for easygoing quadriplegic man. Work half week. 2K per month. Your own three room apartment in a historic downtown home. All bills paid. Bored. Must have driver's license. No Got pets. It. No experience required. Whoa. I'm calling this motherfucker. <laughs> can, I'm calling can, him. Can you imagine two if days a you're week? Parap- if you're quadriplegic and the person that you have to count on for your life is Paul. <laughs> Dude, it says easy going. Just attendant. He just needs me to attend to he, him. He kept a hedgehog alive for oh, a while. Well, it's so. pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> they move the same. I'm going to so tell him that. Do you have any experience? I, mean, like, I kept my friend's hedgehog alive for a while. Oh yeah. my. Does can, the quadriplegic suck, suck his own dick? <laughs> can he suck his own dick? Because if so, I think we're going to Around. Man, can you just imagine what, what if, if you had to give him a hand job? Dude, holy you're shit. You're just a quadriplegic guy. You're just paper, hoping like it's like a hot girl that just is around and then you get Paul. Dude, I have to call. Just making you PB and J's every day. <laughs> Putting Dude, butter on the PB own, and J's. <laughs> your own three room apartment in historic downtown yeah. home? Whoa. I'm not going to lie. For that alone, it might be worth 2K it. 2K a month? This is fucking perfect. I could, I could sublet three this bedroom to apartment? No, just move us all into this fucking <laughs> apartment, dude. <laughs> Would you have to wipe the guy's ass, though? I, dude, oh, that's definitely the yeah. point she's gonna make. You have to wipe his poop, yeah, and yeah. you're gonna have to carry him onto the toilet. But you know what, man? Two G's. What the fuck do I care, dude? <laughs> Everybody poops. He's a vegan cooking bacon right now. Like, how yeah. much worse could it get? I would do that. She's literally gonna be like, "Are you comfortable, like, touching his butthole?" I'll be like, "Absolutely." And his, and his dick. I'm you excited get, to touch his butthole. Like, and you might have to put a catheter in there. I do whatever. No, that's a nurse shit. This is, has no experience required, so you're going to have to just do the basics. Oh, you just Probably gotta, shower him. Yeah. I'll do that shit. What the fuck do I care? <laughs> Get in there with him, dude. I'll literally tell her, like, I'm a stand-up comedian, so <laughs> if anything, this is going to help me immensely. <laughs> I've seen the lowest of lows. This is like this is like if a painter applied for the job and wanted to paint the naked old body, I yeah. want to joke about the naked old body, so this is perfect. You ever bomb in front of two people at four in the afternoon? <laughs> yeah, this is easy compared to that. Dude, I'm literally going to call this person. How long ago? How old is the newspaper? You got to like circle that two? shit. Oh, shit. A week. Yeah. About a week ago, a week ago. Mm. Yeah. That'd be dope. Mm. Oh, but uh, so the valet thing, I was like, what's the hourly wage? And she was like, the ones I got open are like 8 to $10 an hour. And I was like, I can't just like quit my job for that right now. I was like, what do you got for part-time weekend? She's like, everything, like Saturday, Sunday, 7 to 3. I was like, yo, all right, let's try that for a little bit. We'll see what kind of cash I'm getting in my pocket. I mean, you can. It seems like it'd be a lot more fun than working and. I mean, I secretly hate my job, so yeah. I've really been thinking oh, so about like just, doing some bullshit. So yeah, that's just fair. try you that. Valet park with me. They got a ton of shit open, dude. There's like they're, they're opening like four different hotels. Dude, I'm park, thinking about one. I would park. be super high all the time. Like, do they drug test you? I, she did not mention anything. Okay, about that. well, you can't drug test. The they might job, if you're whipping people's cars but around. That's the thing. It's like I would be way too high for that. I'd just be like, yeah, what up? I'm sure that would be fine, dude. Yeah, I mean, you can't drug test at a valet place. You can't assume that yeah. people are gonna do that or not. Are gonna be like, I'm drug free and I still want to. I mean, here. a fucking cash only job. These dudes are all cocaine addicts. <laughs> That's the only reason you work at cash. A it's crazy. Job. There's so many cash only jobs around here, but you yeah. can't even use cash around here. Like, True. I was at. What yeah, was but like, it? how am I gonna put that in my bank? Like, to, yeah. To, like, I don't know. I gotta like, like, just hand people. I'll be like, yo, if you Venmo me, I'll hand you cash right now. Bro, that's like the thing. I went to. A, I was at some restaurant the other day getting food. I get like poke all the time, and this dude tried to pay in cash, and they're like, nah, cause mm. we don't touch your money. If I open up like, like a everywhere, if I open up a checking account, can I just go deposit cash all yeah. the time, or yeah, yeah, is that, the government gonna be like, "What's up"? No, you that's have, how it works. You can put cash in there. There's limits to how much cash you can put you'll in. You have but, to report your tips, but your job will probably help you. 
Honestly, mm. I mean, you have to report your tips if you're a snitch. Yeah, dog. You don't have to report. I think you need to report all your tips. If you put in like a, if, if, report, say for, I was a busboy when I was 19, and I uh, like only reported no, like five dollars so a day. Well, because what banks have to report is any cash entry. Like most banks will make a note of any cash entry over a thousand dollars. They have to report. Oh, okay. Mm. And so anything over nine hundred and ninety nine dollars, they have to report um, to the like the the to the the government. But like if you yeah. just put in like cash. Like a couple hundred bucks or whatever, like fifty bucks here, a hundred bucks there, like whatever. They don't have to report any of that. Mm. Yeah. So, what are your guys' astrological signs? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. To be groovy in alignment with cosmic rhythms, you won't merely walk, and you won't. You certainly won't trudge. Rather, you will saunter, and mm. ramble, and promenade. You will strut, and rove, and prowl. Likewise, you won't just talk, and you certainly won't mutter or grumble. Instead, you will banter, rhapsodize, improvise, beguile, and lyricize. Catch my drift? You won't simply laugh, but will chortle, cackle, and guffaw. Dude, in this other is a words, stand-up fucking horoscope right In here. other words, Sagittarius, you are authorized to imbue everything you do with style, panache, and imagination. Yeah, Dude. You're authorized know, to do it. This is how I know that. I'm getting my swag back right that now. These, that these, uh, they don't mean shit. And they're just making it up. Dude, I What's was yours? styling and beguiling on stage last Were night. Were you falling and chortling? Ben's, yeah, Ben's dog. jealous of your Sagittariusness. Mm. What's yours? Yeah. Man. Let's see what you got going on. You're not moving this and grooving is the with the universe. This Aquarius. Aquarius, baby. Here we go. Aquarius. <laughs> I can barely... This is <laughs> a quote. A curious. Asexually curious. This is a quote. I can barely conceive of a type of beauty in which there is no melancholy, wrote poet Charles Baudelaire. What? That makes no sense. I'm aware of millions of beautiful things that aren't tinctured with melancholy. California's Mount Shasta in the late spring twilight. Mount Shasta. Isn't that a cheap soda from the dog store? That's what it's named after. Bro, Shasta yeah. Cola. Mm. New York City's Guggenheim Museum. Frank Lloyd Wright. The Marmora Waterfalls in Central Italy. The gardens of painter Claude what the Monet in Normandy. What do with it? He's saying... Dude, uh, your horoscope sucks, I mentioned bro. Here, you just asked, and it's about to answer you. Okay. I mentioned this, Aquarius, because I expect life to bring you a flood of non-melancholic beauty in the coming days. Take advantage of this grace to, re- to replenish your trust in life. You're about to get some beauty, dude. Are you mistrustful of life right now? Uh, I, I, Replenish I, your trust in life, bro. All right. I'm going to bring my trust in life bag. So I it, think it says you're about to get your dick sucked. I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> no pretty strings sure attached. I'm pretty sure it said I'm about to get some booty with yeah. the last line. There's right? a flood. It's going to be rain and pussy. Bro, it's going to be rain. Hallelujah. It's rain and booty. You're about to get squirted on by a bitch that doesn't even want you to like Yo, love it. I take it back. Astrology is real, yeah. dog. I believe in that shit. It's what? monsoon poon season, yeah. bro. Mon poon season, baby. Mass poon season. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, cheers. What about yours, Paul? What's yours? Uh, I read it. One? It's, what uh, is it? What it, are you? It says... Uh, he's, a, he's a Gemini. It, he's kinky. Oh, a quote. Yeah, that's it right. says, I remember wishing I could be boiled like water and made pure again. So, so far, pretty accurate. Yeah, no, you definitely want to get boiled. Uh, he says, uh, judging from the current astrological omens, Gemini, I think you could be made reasonably pure again without having to endure an ordeal like being boiled like water. Uh, do you have ideas on how to proceed? And then it tells me to spend 15 minutes alone and do a bunch of shit. I don't know. I want to read the whole thing. I will. You read our whole fucking thing. All right. It says spend 15 minutes alone with your eyes closed, sitting in a comfortable chair. Forgive everyone who has hurt you. Ooh, yeah. They, you need that. Meditate is what it's saying. Number yeah. two, spend another 15 minutes alone. Same deal. Forgive yourself of everything you've done that you think of as errors. This would be great for Paul, honestly. <laughs> yeah. This, is, this thing knows you. <laughs> Did it say you, Paul Cypher? I was, a, a, I I was like, ours, ours were bullshit. But this, I've already this done one. that because I don't make any errors. So they're all solved. Already, I don't have to forgive myself or anything. Where you need to forgive yourself, dude. Three, your spend fault. another 15 minutes alone. How much goddamn time do I have in one motherfucking day? Dude? We're up to 45 right I now. Mean, I'm pretty sure you can find 45 minutes of alone time. Bob. Imagine what it would be like to unconditionally love yourself exactly as you are. I yeah. would. I Could like, you even imagine that? So basically, I'd imagine not having two unsupportive friends as roommates. <laughs> 
Oh, I thought you were talking about the unsupportive pounds in your stomach. But that's <laughs> Look. How is he supporting all that supporting. weight is my question. <laughs> I've seen those legs. I can't support anything. Look, I've, I, like I've said before, I have not gained a single pound. Only my body composition has changed. <laughs> all right? The scale still reads the same. <laughs> Does it? I'm, I'm just going through a second puberty and my fat is being redistributed to different <laughs> You're areas. growing breasts. <laughs> it is now the same just in kilos. No, not, I'm not growing breasts. I'm growing pec muscles <laughs> you're going back to school after this summer oh new woman. muscles paul <laughs> yeah dude my chest is fucking <laughs> you you couldn't have muscles if you ordered them at a seafood restaurant doc and then it says spend another 50 minutes alone remember 10 amazing moments that you enjoyed between 5 and 13 can you guys remember 10 things you enjoyed between 5 and 13 i honestly don't even remember 5 and 13 as ages uh yeah, yeah. the crash bandicoot that was good oh yeah <laughs> I liked uh, Diablo 2. What happened? Yeah. To, I won an MTV, award. I was way into MTV. I won an award when I was 10 for the D.A.R.E. program. SpongeBob. Go figure. Oh, nice. SpongeBob. Yeah. Was good. This is good stuff. I used okay, to love that. Okay, we're up uh, to like three. Um, hide and go seek tag was pretty sick. Oh, manhunt, dude. We should organize yeah. a comics game of manhunt in the woods back here, dude. Yeah. Dude, manhunt. Classic game. All right. Can we just throw like a dodgeball element in there where I just peg people with dodgeballs? No, we're going to give you a paintball gun and we're going to say, <laughs> Ben couldn't come today. And you're just going to hide <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be in the trees and shit all came out in a ghillie suit yeah. shooting people with paintballs because i'm with that yeah mm, first of all but second of all we should just go paintballing in general yeah let's go paintballing that's a bonding activity yeah that's that's out here for sure in texas uh, somewhere. Dude, There's probably I, a I want sick you guys paintball to know range. Yeah. that you know we have our ups and we have our downs but yeah. there's no one i'd rather be in the trenches with in a paintball fight than you two mm. i feel like our, i feel like our squad will work well yeah I'm, like I'm, good at, I'm good at hiding. I think I got pretty good accuracy. You're very skinny, so you're hard to hit. Yeah. I feel like Ben's bringing, obviously, athleticism to the table, some leadership. And I oh, feel yeah, like fucking I'm... fucking leaping over a hay bale, I dude. feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a natural I'm radio going... guy. You know what I mean? I always felt like I should have been born World War II and been one of those guys like, God, I'm sorry, they're bombing the airstrike now. And with then the, I have with to call, the backpack? With the map, I have to call it in and yeah. shit like that. And then you fuck up and you're like, whoops, my bad, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> that was an elementary school. <laughs> sorry, Poland. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> oh just, no i hit the dog park but you know what's uh i was watching some show and uh the other day and i was thinking about this the the people there are just drone operators so they're just like and the drone uh, operators they just get like a, they just get like somebody some target and they just watch them and then whenever they have a shot they're just like boom and then somebody just dies from the sky imagine if they're like oh shit our bad that's the wrong guy dude, <laughs> dude <there's, laughs> wrong middle eastern dude we just blew his ass up dude that's, that's got to have happened like plenty of times dude it that's all they do is bomb the wrong fucking all places all the time, over. bro. Just the wrong Dude, the guy. police can't they, even go in the right apartment. <laughs> yeah, no. and they, they shoot some random lady while she's sleeping. You know what they do? Bed. They just they track people by their cell phones and they just fucking drone strike the cell phone. So if you they like wherever that phone ends up, you're getting fucking Dude, struck down. The videos, you what know, they're, they're obviously a new phone. <laughs> it's like a used. That's phone. what they do. They just pass the phone up. They <laughs> leave it. This phone out now. They throw it in someone's car or a fucking school or something. Like, Dude, the videos are fucked up. Obviously. Obviously, you know, but they're in that they have the videos where from far away where it's like a white background. Remember cops in the helicopter would be chasing somebody? And yeah. Then, so it's like that background. There's like guys with a couple of pickup trucks are all walking around, just a couple Muslim dudes or whatever. And then all of a sudden, like one fucking thing will hit one of the trucks and blow it up. And all the other guys around the other trucks are like, ah! yeah. <laughs> I mean, they just start running in random directions because it's just like we have no idea where this came from. It came from a mile in the air. Could you imagine that shit? Oh, 10,000 feet in the air. Somebody just rained death on you. And and there's always just, one guy who just knows you, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And he just kind of just like walks away. He just there was a drone softers. documentary on uh, – Netflix, it's like cheating, dude. Seven or eight years ago, dude. That's it's terrible. Those things are so creepy. Like the sound they make, they just hover in the sky and they just like stalk these like Middle Eastern neighborhoods. Do you see the building in Florida that fell over? In Florida, yeah, yeah. that shit. Imagine you just lay I, there and it just fucking drops. I was in a, I was in a work. <laughs> oh shit! I was in a training <laughs> conference at work, and right before we begin, this guy's like looking at his phone. He's like. Oh, did you guys see that this uh, building fell down in Miami? And everyone's like, oh, what? And then they start looking up on their phones like, oh, wow, like 50 people like unaccounted for, blah, blah, blah. And I like, I wanted to be like, all right, so can you give us some good news now? Like the dude just like right before we get this like seminar just like comes up with this like really depressing news. Like one woman just moved from Miami and she was like, oh, what building? Like she was in real estate in Miami. She's like, what building is it? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, my God, that's terrible. It's like. 
All right, so work safety, everybody. <laughs> dude, it made me realize that I don't think I ever want to live in a high rise, dude. Yeah. This is the tallest type of building I want to live in. Like tree floors? Tree, tree four floors. Yeah, yeah, dude. Why do you want to live all the way up there, dude? Why you live in the there? middle of like a downtown city, a high rise is so dope. You get the fuck. penthouse suite. It's not that dope at yeah, all, dude. Bro, I'm it's telling a long you, like, elevator ride, bro. What if it lights on top? fire, dude? What if it lights on fire and you're up there, dude? Then I'm jumping. Fuck that shit, dude. You parachute down, bro. I'm just ready. I'm going to have a parachute pack out the side window, bro, just I fucking Steven Paddock that window out with a hammer. Dude, I, I mentioned van life to what my Hungarian co-worker on the ride home today. Yeah. And it was like, dude, fuck all Because we were looking at all the apartments. And I was like, dude, fuck all this shit. If I don't make some money, I'm thinking about going van life. And he literally, fuck, what did he say? He was just like, what, you're going to be the fucking redneck? <laughs> you're going to be some fucking, I go to California, they'll live in their fucking vans. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fucking stupid man <laughs> dude just like had no patience for an alternative <laughs> lifestyle at all didn't consider he's like what the fuck are you supposed to do when you're tired you go home oh i lay in my van oh how comfortable like i come home to my fucking apartment man i like my apartment you usually get it like you're already at work you get in your van and just go to sleep that's pretty yeah, sick dude but no he doesn't get it at all i mean he came he moved here from fucking hungry dude nah, he's, he's like, trying to like now cook i'm not gonna live in a fucking for, building i moved yeah. from hungry to not live in a goddamn building yeah, True, yeah. Like, we couldn't even <laughs> live in a van that would have been luxury in hungary but here it's like in hungary we have people we call them gypsies yeah i was gonna say what are you fucking gypsy <laughs> yeah i think he really had a i give him a gypsy stink with this hair and stuff because we were getting along until then and he was just like get the fuck out of my we car. talked for like two more minutes and he's just like just fuck don't do that man it's stupid <laughs> like after silence for two minutes you get out of the car he checks his pocket for his wallet to make he's sure like it's talking there. about when i got out he's like this fucking nice place man why you don't live in a van he's so <laughs> concerned for me i just brought up as like a like a fit i was like yeah it's only 12 grand dude and that changed Sprinter Paul's van. perspective on vans forever. He was like, no, I can't dude, now do Hans it. told me Sprinter van is 12K, and really? Yeah. He, I really think the Sprinter van might be a move for Paul. Don't go Sprinter. Go uh, Dodge Power Ram. If my girlfriend breaks up with me, yeah. I'm 100% planning. The way I did for a few months to get here. Why does, it, why does it matter if you're together or not for the family? Uh, because you are in a partnership. Yeah. And if she doesn't feel comfortable dating a man in a van, that's asking her a lot. That's asking a lot of a girlfriend. I mean, if she doesn't love you at van life, she doesn't deserve you at apartment life. I don't even know what van life is yet, dude. And you know van life me is going to be fucking... I mean, it'll be real rule for me, but it won't... Your room is a mess. What's that van going to look like, dude? It's not a mess. Like, My room looks great because Alyssa cleaned it the other day. <laughs> Your girlfriend cleans your room? Yeah, she's a neat freak, bro. Did you ask her to do it? Or did no, she just I, just come, just I come home and it's spotless, and I, she didn't even tell me, dude. And she was just like, this is so bad, I have to clean it because I can't beat it. You here. left some bitch alone in our apartment, dude? Yeah, I did. What are you going to do about wow, it? You even talked to us I about mean, every that. time I leave, I leave two bitches in here, so. <laughs> dude, when, I, good. when you came Wanted home. Wanted to clean the bathroom, when to clean your room? When you came home with Holly, you know, I hadn't seen her since she, like, moved here or whatever. Mm. And so when I came out in the living room, you, like, go into your room and Holly was standing in the living room. And from the side, I was like, damn, who is this bitch? And then she turned and I was like, wait a minute, I recognize that person. That's Holly Johnson. <laughs> but there was a half second from her profile where, like, I could have, rec- I didn't recognize it as Holly. I was just like, damn, Jesse's just hanging just out. Just wrangling chick. hoes at the pool. Just wrangling, just wrangling the pool. bro. Just right. wrangling. And then, I was just very, and then I felt embarrassed because I was like, oh, God, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. And I was like, oh, it's Holly. Yeah, what She up? already knows I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> true. It's always weird, like, when you see, like, a comic and then you see him as, like, a comic. And then when you go out with him and you're like, oh, this person is, like, attractive. Like, you mm-hmm. didn't, and then you didn't realize that because you just saw him as, like, a comic. Like John Paul Rivera? Yeah. Yeah, I had that feeling. Is he attractive? Too. Dude, when you go out with him. Cleans dude, up well, dude. He's so hot. Yeah. Huh, I guess I've never been out with him. Even man. out of the van life. Yeah, dude, he gets mad pussy in that van. Oh, well, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. Uh, I didn't even see him coming. Shout out. J- JPR puts the D down, dog. Yeah, everyone on uh, series finale gets huge fucking numbers, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking mad bitches. Jack Burke just got engaged. Congratulations, Jack. Or maybe got married. Is he a listener of the podcast? I feel like Jack Burke's been engaged for a minute. Yeah, he got engaged for a minute ago, but I don't <laughs> think he's quite married yet. Yeah, no. Who else is on the series finale's podcast? Zach Brazell. ZB. Is Zach Brazell clean enough? Because he's got real virgin vibes from him. What do you Dude, mean virgin Brazell vibes? Brazell fucks though. Every time I see Brazell, he's a little bad bitch. Brazell? <laughs> I mean, it's it's Kendra Landsberg, but... Uh. <laughs> Brazell does fuck, I think, but he also, you know, he doesn't chase the... F- he's a man of God, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's a man uh, of the cloth? He's, yeah, yeah, he's right with the Lord. But Dude. I think Brazell's personality... 
he at like his late 30s because he's like i think a year or two younger than me uh, i was like 12 years old dude yeah he's I, fresh out of so i think school. i think uh when he hits his late thirties, he's gonna be banging like the hottest older bitches. I'm gonna ever. be surprised if he's not married with children in his late thirties. I'm gonna be shocked. I think he's gonna be slaying grandfather dick around. Yeah, he seems like when he hits like his fifties, dude. I, th- actually, I don't know if he fucks. I think he's saving it for marriage. He basically, honestly. is like a fifty year old man right now. I, I swear, someone told me that he was saving it for marriage. That's the word. Really? On the street. No, I let's get him on the pod. Yeah, we're gonna have to get it from the horse's mouth. Here. Let's do a series for the lonely the horse man's mouth. Honestly, pod. I don't think Zach would appreciate us speculating. Like, why the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know why you suddenly like brought all these guys up anyway. Because but. we want to talk about how much pussy John Paul Rivera gets. Oh yeah, all right. more like I could talk about that forever. More, more like uh, something pussy. Do you guys something. know for? Do you guys yeah, know any of his conquests? <laughs> uh, First hand knowledge. He had fucked no. me in my ass one time. Let's get him but, on a let's get him on a like Hans Kim says anyone can fuck a white guy. That's yeah, nothing that's to brag true. home yeah, about. We can I'm all not fuck white. We can all dude. fuck a white guy. I'm French Canadian. So back off, yeah. dude. So you're even pastier? I'm a like, different what? I'm a different type of colonizer, okay? You're glue? I'm like, not what? a British colonizer, dude. I'm different. I didn't colonize here. I colonized north of here. Mm-hmm. And then some of here and sold it back <laughs> to the older colonists. So you're whiter than the other whites yeah. here. You're like less spicy. I slaughtered different natives. Oh, well, thank you. Why didn't you say that before? Okay. I mean, so we're on the same team. We're indigenous people. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good to know. Send them all to Oklahoma, right? Um, that wasn't us. Here's a good transition. Speaking of uh, conflict, back. someone tried to square up on Ben last night. Ben, why do you keep getting almost, squared up? Almost deservedly so, I gotta say. No, fuck that. <laughs> oh my I was God. like, I was like, that's oh, not a short fuse. I, we, I literally, we he tried to square up. I'm like, are you seriously trying we, to square up left, on me right now? He's like, let's go. Club. I'm like, no, sit down. We left and then the club. Stop going to the club. There's no, nothing good happens is, at the club. This dude. is post club. This was post club. We were already out of the club. All right, we gotta leave the club. Walked faster. across. The, we were on E6, so like it wasn't even the dirty, dirty. We're like it, it was like hipster six. Yeah, there's actually like vegetation on the street out there. Uh, we go, we get, Ben and I get tacos. We sit down at a picnic table. Uh, on one side, it's, it's Ben, Jansen, Preeb, Holly Johnson. On the other side, there's two black dudes on either side of the bench. I sit down in between them. Uh, we, oh, by the way, these black dudes do not know each other. They're wait, so not associated. They're not even with, together. Yeah. So it's black dude, Holly, black dude. I'm trying to see this. No, no on one side is Ben, Jansen, Holly. One side, it's like a picnic table? And then I'm bookended by the black dudes on the other side. Yeah, we're on a picnic table. Oh, so it's like black dude, Jesse, black dude? Yeah. Oh, so it looks like a, a gay porn starring you? Yeah. Okay. So the dude to my <laughs> left uh, starts talking to us a little bit, find out he's from Houston, starts shooting a shot with Holly. Uh, like, I had my bag of food in front of me with one taco inside of it, and it was kind of like blowing around a little bit, and he smushed it down. And I thought he was doing that just so it wouldn't blow away. We realized afterwards that he just wanted to get a good look at Holly, who is like, <laughs> like diagonal across from him. He like all I'm of a sudden he just Holly's goes, looks like a child. He just goes, "You're beautiful, my love." And Holly was hey, like, uh, "Solid line, solid opener, some pretty, pretty good line." We all like were like, "Dog, do your thing." Strong but romantic. Yeah, but he added my love, which is like a. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's if a very he's using it genuinely, touch. if he was just smitten by her, then respect. But if he was just he said it with sincerity, but it was a line for sure. Yeah, uh, and Holly you was like, "Oh, thank you." Yeah, yeah, yeah no, not Holly mutually. Liked it. She appreciated the compliment. Yeah, I think you hang out with comics enough. And look Did Holly go like this? So. I know Holly's with Holly go like free, this? free comics. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it was exactly like that. But that's her reaction. to Anything. But we did talk about it afterwards, and she did say she she liked it. Yeah, she nice, accepted dude. it. Um, but the, the, yeah, the dude, we were all eating tacos. The dude didn't have any napkins, so Ben was like, oh, I got you, bro. He went up to the truck. It ripped off uh, a all right, strip so of no, paper what towel. What happened towel. was... There so was Penn no, did someone a favor and then the guy tried to no, fight No, no, no. So what had happened was, what had happened was, <laughs> so my bag didn't have any napkins and I was trying to wipe my hands. Like, yeah. man, there's no napkins. He's like, oh, use mine. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so he gave me the napkin did, did, and I used the napkin did later you, on. Did you a solid? He was trying to use a napkin. He's like, bro, you took all the napkins? I was like, you gave me the napkins. I was like, whatever. I'll go get him a napkin. Yeah. So I went to go grab a napkin. And now he's sitting down at the picnic table, mm-hmm. and I'm standing. So when I hand it to him, it's at, like, face level. And I don't know if he was looking, 
And I kind of was like waved it at him, like, yo, here's some napkins. He went like this and touched his <laughs> face. I didn't touch his face. It was near his face, but I didn't touch his face. Wait, let me I just was ask, sitting like this. Let me interrupt the judge. Uh, you know, the, the defense. All right, Devin stood Wait, on me, me when you did. The, I literally went like this, was, and then I went like that. Was the defendant I, his face. intoxicated? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But he wasn't like intoxicated behavior. No, I mean, like, were though, you? Because like, you're the. Was in, I? In court, I've seen if Ben is to, to be blamed oh, for this defendant? fight. Because oh, you w- said it's kind of Ben's fault that he got out of this fight. So I didn't I'm get trying in the fight. to decide if. I wasn't, drink- I mean, I wasn't drinking like that. Okay. We had, I wasn't like, drunk. I had probably three or four drinks like okay. in the span of a few hours. So you claim that he yeah. put it up to his nose. I what believe it touched his nose. I don't think I touched. I didn't like, wave it in his face. I put it up here and like it was in front of him. And he's like, dog, you going to wave a napkin in my face? And then he squared up. I was like, I looked at him. I was like, are you he, really trying to square he got up, up right now? He got up bro, in he fighting like, stance. Oh, my he, God. I was like, bro, you're going to try to square up Dude, on me right now? He's he like, got molested by a napkin. And then ben, go, ben Cool as a bro, cucumber, stayed sitting I said, down. Bro, I'm like, sit down. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not gonna fight you. Sit down. He's like, oh, my bad, man. And then he just sat <laughs> yeah. down. That's literally no, no, no. He didn't. I don't think he said he was like. He was like, on oh, Jesus, fight you right no, now. He said that when he was sitting down. Yeah. And because I asked him after he sat back down, I was like, bro, you're really trying to fight. He's like, on oh, Jesus, I would have fought you right uh, now. Yeah. I was like, bro, oh, Jesus. I'm like, I'm too okay. old for this nonsense. Okay. But he did I've, sit down right I've after. I've reached that. a ruling. Okay. I'm ruling on the side of Ben. I don't think Ben, even if Ben <laughs> rubbed an Afghan in the face, even if it was as what you said, the fact that this guy was like in a Muay Thai stance no, within that, a second yeah. is crazy. Bro, he got up. I've never, at first I thought he was <laughs> and, joking because he did it so like awkwardly yeah. and quickly. I thought it was his like pants up and, and he like squared and up, like took like two up. steps back. And the fact that all Ben had to say was, I'm not going to fight you, dog. Sit down. And he kind of accepted like, yeah, you were right. And my the bad. rest of us were like, nah, man. No, nah. Dude, nobody even moved. I just <laughs> yeah. looked at this dude. I was yeah. like, no one even reacted. I didn't no. even react to him. I was like, we didn't even jump up. Like, you're really trying to square it up, bro. Sit down. I'm not gonna yeah. fight you. And he's like, ah, man. And he just sat down. He and sat down. I was like, we're all cool. We're all good. Like, and you know what? You know, even if he was kind of trying to be tough by saying like, on oh, Jesus, I defy you. <laughs> I actually kind of respect where he was just like, no, nah, not because I'm tough, but because that's just the kind of guy I am. I would have fought you over it. Yeah. That's I'm funny pr- that he was just like accepted. He thought you were gonna accept a fight. You're like, oh, I thought we were two dudes that would just accept a fight. All <laughs> yeah. Bro, you ever it seen, turns out we're just one dude. You ever seen the Boondocks? <laughs> you ever watched the show Boondocks? Ben I this up. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you ever seen the show Boondocks when he talks about nigga moments? That was a nigga moment <laughs> yeah. for real. Like what? You try, you step on my J. You trying to? Fight. I was like, nah, I am not doing this. Not no, nah. Yeah. It's like a hockey. Silly it's thing. like hockey when like one dude would come over and just be like, you trying to fight a dog? And the guy's like, no, I'm trying to fight him. And he's like, oh, my bad. He just it was like away. <laughs> two thirty in the morning. We're all tired and full of tacos. The dish dude squares up, and the rest of us were just like, nah, we're not doing this right now. Know. Maybe when I was like twenty five, I would have been like, let's go. But yeah, man, bro, I'm in my thirties now. Like, Fuck out of like here. That? Like, yeah, no. I'm like, no, I'm not even doing this. Like, God, first of all, I don't even know. That's the stupidest thing I've ever known. Yeah. Been the stupidest fight in history. And yeah, that really. I mean, even, even if Ben had thrown the napkins and they hit him in the face, to just go straight to fist fight, he's like, bro, someone can get hurt in this. Yeah, he grabbed the napkin, put it down, and then stood up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was almost cartoonish the way he stood up and squared up. 